Hey there YouTube, welcome to Drake Array Gaming. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to fix your dev errors, your crashes, your stutters, all the problems you've been having with Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer and other modes. We're gonna get you fixed today. No BS, no fluff as usual. Here we go. Boom shakalaka, here we are. First thing you wanna do, make sure your drivers are updated, Windows is updated, your game is updated, reboot, go into Battle.net. I know, make sure your updates are done, okay? We gotta be on the current version. Uh, so, go ahead and go to Show Explorer, click the little gear icon down here, click Show and Explorer, make sure you're on Modern Warfare 2. Uh, show and Explorer, we wanna look at the game files. So, there's some things they did different. I've done a lot of videos on how to fix Modern Warfare 1, 2018 slash 19, as well as Warzone, Black Ops, Vanguard, you name it. Um, I've dug through these files, I've found some secrets, they've renamed some things, moved some things around, but the game still has the same issues with stuttering or crashes or scan repair errors or dev errors or all this kind of stuff. So I, I've narrowed it down, I've done a lot of testing over the last weeks you can't and I'm releasing this video now a few weeks after the game has come out because you need time for the driver releases and patches to stabilize and then to kind of stabilize the game a bit uh, otherwise you're gonna be the video is just not gonna be current so this is gonna be a very nice current video of what to actually do to fix these issues um, so what you can see is uh, they've, I, they've they've basically called it call of duty the folder um, and what I had before in my documents folder is you'd have call of duty black ops cold war modern warfare vanguard vanguard public beta whatever now they're just calling it call of duty uh, in documents so there's two file locations there's the main core uh, location Location where the game resides and if you go to uh, your 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 hard drive you know this is from clicking the gear icon and battle now but then you go to data uh, you have data config you have all these different file locations um, and config locations and things like that but where we want to actually go is into uh, retail and inside retail uh, if you look for the 300 meg file here it's just called cod uh, they're not calling it anything else, which is interesting. It's a 303 megabyte file. You want to actually go to properties on that, right click, go to properties, compatibility. You want to jump, check this, run this program as administrator, and then you want to click OK. Now, a lot of people get confused. They think that this has to do with making the game uh, process run first or run higher. That's not what it does. It basically gives the application all of the uh, permissions it needs within the operating system to run correctly. So if there's any part of the game that's trying to, uh, to run and it can or it's getting blocked because it doesn't have admin, permissions it now has that so this could fix a lot of issues for you as simple as that a lot of people don't run it as admin I always run it as admin because it avoids a lot of issues so once you've done that in the core location and you can go to documents now there's something called now I had the beta so there's players beta but you should have at players you should have documents call of duty players now inside players, um, there's a config file. This is not the file where you change the majority of the things and you can see it's labeled with a lot of memory address hex uh, coding. Uh, what you actually want to look at is options or options three. Some people say it's called options.19 or COD22, COD19, but it's options. This is options one. You can see options BR, options CP, DMZ, multiplayer and single player. We want just the one that says options with the number COD22. Uh, and now you see a lot of different uh, adjustments we can make in here. So this game has the same problem that the other versions did, uh, which comes down, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it's these two down here. And what these are is the render the th render worker count. Now, this is the actual cores of your CPU, not the threads, and people have fought on me on it, but it's, it's the actual cores. So, um, and if you don't know how many cores your CPU has, you want to make sure this number in here is set to the amount of phys physical cores that you have. So inside Task Manager, uh, if you go to Performance, and you can just right click on your bar down here on Windows, click Task Manager, go to Performance here, and then what it is right here, it says Core is 12, Logical Processor is 24, because they're, 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 it's dual core CPU technology. So we have uh, 12 cores right here, and I want to make sure this is set to 12. Now, you can try half your cores, like 6 or 8, and see where you get the better performance. But this one's huge, especially for stability. You want to make sure you change this to your either maximum or around the half, at least half the amount of your cores. Uh, depends on CPU. It's very CPU dependent if you have Intel or AMD, right? Uh, so try different numbers here and just click uh, save and then reboot your game and then try and see if you get a better stability window. Now, this game, in my opinion, uh, still has a... 
memory bleed issue. They always have. It's not optimized for PC. So this is your, your actual GPU video memory scale. You can see memory scale. And it's set to about 0.8500, which is, is around 85%. Now, you can adjust this in game or here. Now, um, I never had a problem with this too much. I have 32 gigs of RAM. But if you're running 16, uh, you might. Uh, and that's why my system memory. But the GPU memory, I've never had a problem, I'm sorry, on a, on a 3070 or a 3080 with the, with the, the 12 to 16 gigs of RAM that you can get on your graphics card. If you have a high amount of RAM on your GPU, because this is video memory, not system memory, then you should be fine. But uh, try running a 0 0.55, a 0 0.65, or a 0 0.70, 0 0.75, um, and see if you get better performance. This is also tweakable within these ranges right here. So try, try your GPU memory limitation scale, try your render worker count, click save, and then, and then go ahead and uh, restart the game and try that again. And again, it's in this weird folder here. They've moved it. Uh, documents Call of Duty Players uh, Options folder, not options with a game mode or config. It's just options uh, with some numbers on it. Now, the other thing you really want to check uh, next is, uh, you can see my PC runs very minimal. I have very, very minimal stuff running uh, in the background, just exactly what I need. Just my mouse software, my headset software, and like battle that. Like, that, that's it. And what you can actually do is if you type in uh, the search bar on your computer, and this is just a Windows 7 skin I have, but uh, and it'll work on your Windows 10, but type msconfig, msconfig, M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G. Uh, go into your or startup uh, and your services here and make sure what you can do here is hide all Microsoft services so that you don't shut off anything uh, you know you shouldn't and these are a bunch of different services that start up on system boot up and etc that are running right now and what you can do is go through them like origin player and nvidia broadcast or future mark software and you can actually enable or disable them and apply that and free up some system resources especially because the game doesn't have a lot of friendly doesn't play friendly with a lot of different softwares so make sure that's cleaned up um, also you can go to your startup you can do that again in task manager here's your startup uh programs that were starting up on the when you boot your PC and now you can you can right click these and disable them or enable them and control what starts when your PC starting and this is huge uh, all these things I'm showing you are huge huge for gaining stability in your system so as a recap We've gone over startup and boot processes and services, making sure those are clean, making sure all your stuff's up to date, uh, can, changing the configuration folder to make sure it matches your CPU cores, running an administrator. Um, all these different things I've shown you is going to create a lot of system stability for you and hopefully get rid of a lot of dev errors and scan and repair errors. I'm Drake O'Ray here to help the gaming community, and I'll see you next time.